So in order to put this clip here back in, what you're going to want to do, first of all, if it's bent in any way, shape, or form, what you want to do is go ahead and set that outside on the road or some concrete area that you have access to and just hit it with the hammer and it will completely flatten it out. But this is fine. I didn't mess it up there too much for what I did. So we're going to set this guy back on. And for this particular side, this is the driver's side, this arced up piece needs to be set in like this. Maybe vice versa for the other side, I'm not sure. But it's your job to make sure you know what you're doing there. So I'm gonna stick it right about there. I do apologize, you probably hear the dogs upstairs going crazy over something. So I'm gonna take this hammer and just hit them in there a little bit. And we can see our clip is back on. But you don't want it that loose. So what you're gonna do is take some pliers and we're gonna crush it closed. Just like that. So now, even if it's wiggly just a little bit, that's just fine. There's no way it's gonna come off, so that's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back on the car. And before we put everything back together, I'll show you the spots that you need to lube up. Okay guys, now we have these six spots that need to be lubed, three for each shoe. And I'm just gonna do the ones you can kind of see here. What I've done is I've sprayed some brake cleaner on this rag. I'm just gonna wipe these guys clean. And then any kind of disc brake or brake grease lube will work fine. It just needs to be a high temp lube for the brakes and disc brake lubes will work because they're made for that. So this is a disc brake lube by Permatex. So you just going to make sure they're lubed. And if you don't do this, what can happen is when you press the brakes, you'll hear a squeaky sound coming from the back just when you push the brake pedal and that'll be your shoes rubbing up, up against these metal pieces here without lubrication. So it's it's an important thing. Don't forget it. Alright, so you're gonna take your new shoe that's connected to this piece right here and we're gonna go ahead and set them back on your cable. That's your e-brick cable right there. And he comes up and twists like so and the top sits in there and the important thing to remember is where it sits in the bottom it sits in the bottom right there along that little notch and we'll go ahead and put the hold down spring on and start getting springs back on so your shoes will be set into place and then we'll adjust your brakes so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'll take one of my pins and I'll stick them back through the backing plate where he came out uh, there we go I've got them through the hole and in the beginning we used the dikes to take the thing off there but with this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to st set the pin right there and I have this tool specially made for this and I'm going to set this little guy right here if I can hold him I'm going to set him in the tool so I'm pushing him that way and it's going to look like this he's going to look like that it's going to be like sticking out so I'm going to get him up over there like that I'm going to push and then on the other side, I'm just going to twist the pin and do all the work with the pin to get the pin in there correctly. And once I fit the pin into this piece right here, I will just twist the tool and let up so it catches on the pin. Now, I know it might be hard to see here with my hand in the way, but um. Hopefully you can see a little bit better. I'm just going to push down and then I'll get my pin in there and I'm twisting from the back and plate side and now I can just let go because the pin is locked into place. And now the shoe is locked into place so I'll go ahead and get him where he needs to be right here and right here. It's kind of aligned right there and then work on getting the other shoe and some springs in. Okay next thing we're doing here guys is we're going to look at our star wheel adjuster guy and this is what pushes your shoes out as they wear down because when they wear down they need to be sticking further out so they can be applied correctly now this piece right here is going to go in like that so it can hold the silver guy right here and we're also going to go ahead and just stick him right in he kind of just hangs on right there and this is 
the driver side drum assembly. And the reason I'm telling you that is because the passenger side assembly is going to spin the opposite way of this piece right here. Now what you want to do is spin this piece left. So, lefty. So when I spin it left, it's going to go in. And you want to have it go in because that's going to give more room for the shoes. Now, I'm not replacing my shoes, so I know they're going to be out just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and spin them right. And that still should be giving me a little bit of room there. And I'm going to stick this guy in the end. And I'm going to work him in right there. And just like that. And then I'll set them down here if that's possible. And then I'll take this spring right here and set him in like so and trying to work them around. Well, actually no, we're not gonna work them around just yet. We're gonna hold it right like that and you'll grab your other shoe and we'll stick them in this hole right here, your spring and twist it like that. So now we're connected right there and whoop. <laughs> Yeah, one more time. And remember, small side is going to be on your right for this particular side. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it this way. There we go. Now, when we try and set this shoe up in this slot over here on your wheel cylinder, it's going to want to push these guys in and out. So, you might want to kind of try and hold on this side while you're doing this right here. I think he's in the slot. And make sure you get him in there down at the bottom too. And the next trick is getting this guy up. This is tricky. Oh. There we go. Now, I'm going to find my other pin. There he is. So we're going to take our other pin and stick him through the hole here. On the other side, the backing plate. I'm just going to stick him through like that. And then, just like the other side, I'm going to set the spring right there. Get my tool set up. And Some beautiful birds chirping in the back end. So we're going to push down and then just try to work the pin in there. Got to make sure the spring is straight. And there we go. Uh, both my springs are looking good. Now I just need to make sure it's all, everything's in each little slot. Looking good. And now it's time to put the spring up there and the spring down at the bottom. So the next joy we have here is putting this spring back on and remember your little shim guy here. We're going to stick him in and then we'll go back in that little spot right there and get him hooked up to where it's sitting and looks like that. Then I'll take my dikes wherever they may be and I've found my dikes here finally and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab this spring right here and we're going to drop that spring right in there. So, and all the while holding this shoe because this guy likes to slide back and forth up here and you don't want fluid spilling everywhere, which can happen. So, we'll just hook them right like that. And now our adjuster's all tight. It's nice and tight up there. And we've just got the spring down below to hook up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our spring and I'll just hook them on right there. And remember, the whole spring thing needs to go behind that metal piece right there. And I'm going to grab him just like that. And I'm going to pull. And just set him in there like that. And that's, that's everything all the way back together. Let's see if I can zoom out. There we go. Just get off this thing. Everything is back together 
And now the only thing we have left to do really is adjust the shoes to where the rear brakes will be tight for your rear wheels. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna show you is the tightening and loosening adjustments that you will make to your shoes. And after I show you that, I will show you the way to test whether you have it tight or loose enough, whether you have it just right. You're going to be repeating this process several times and it's not the most fun thing in the world. And if I feel back here, there's actually, there's a place in the back where you can adjust it from behind with the wheel still on, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing here as opposed to there. So just remember you can take a flathead screwdriver and adjust it from behind too. So on the driver's side adjuster, left is going to loosen because it's gonna drive this guy back in. And right is going to tighten your brakes because it's going to make this piece come back out. On the other side, it's probably the opposite, but just be aware of that and make sure, figure out what it is when you have the star wheel adjuster out. So in order to get this guy going, what we gotta do is I'm going to spin him right because I want him tighter. So I'm going to lift up on him and it's gonna freely let me do that. You can hear it clicking. What it's not going to freely let me do is loosen it. When I have to loosen it, what I have to do is I have to make this go down and I have to take my finger and lift up on this silver piece here because that's part of the self-adjusting process is it doesn't, it lets it tighten but not loosen. So you need to hold this so you can loosen. And again, you'll just bring it back down and that'll be loosening your brakes. Now again, I need to tighten mine so I'm gonna lift up on it here. When you hear it clicking, you know it's tightening. So, you'll get to a place where it should be hard to put your drum back on. And we need to make sure our shoes are centered. Oh no, that's not good. I'll fix that here in just a second, but just for sake of continuing to show you guys here. You, there we go. How that just went on right there and how it's coming off, I can tell it's gonna to be too loose. But once you get the stuff back together here and you put your wheel back on, you're going to want to be able to spin this with the wheel on one turn. Okay guys, so I got that spring back on that fell off, that was a pain. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't happen to you guys. Um, I've got the drum back on and everything's nice and flush. So what I'm gonna do here, so we're gonna keep our eye on this one right here. I'm just gonna give it a push, and as you can see, it's spinning way more than one time. If it's doing this, then when you apply your brakes and you're driving down the road, this, this drum brake specifically will not be applying. Now, what we need to do is go and tighten until I give it a spin like that, and it only spins once. I'm going to access the back here and tighten it until it spins the right amount. And when you're adjusting it from the back there, you'll hear the click if you're going the right way. And I'll show you what it looks like when I spin it and it just does that one turn there. Okay guys, so here I am, I'm in the, I'm in here behind the backing plate. And that's the little spot I'm talking about. And there should be a rubber piece there and you just pop that right off. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna find the little wheel as soon as I find it. And I'm, when I'm pushing up on the screwdriver, you can hear it clicking. And by doing that, I'm tightening it up. So that's how you tighten it from the back. And again, here, I'll show you in just a second what it looks like when you have it tightened the right amount. Okay, guys, and here I am at the wheel. And it's not all the way right yet, but I'm just showing you. You can see it's a definite improvement there. We got about two turns out of that one. And you can kind of hear it rubbing up against the shoes in there. So we're getting there, but not there yet. All right, and what you don't want to do, guys, is over tighten it. Here we are at the wheel again. I'm going to spin it, and there we got about half a turn right there. Let's see. One more. There we go. About three quarters of a turn right there, and you can't loosen it from back there. So I'm going to have to take the wheel off and the drum off again and pull back on that little silver piece to loosen the brakes. If, if you attempt to do it and you'll be pushing that star wheel up against that silver piece and you could damage it to where it won't 
lock into tight only. Okay guys, and I finally got it how I want it here. We're gonna take a look at this lug nut right here, and you watch me spin it, and it should spin right about one turn. And you saw there it's been about one turn, and that's about what you want right there. So just as long as it's got some some grip in there, you should be good to go. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all my new videos which publish Mondays and Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 12 p.m. Mountain Time, 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time and I will see you then.